exploring the real-world impact of switching from a 225 40th SAR 18 to a 225 45th SAR 18. We'll cover everything from fitment to fuel economy, so let's get started. First, let's talk fitment. The golden rule is the 3% rule. The 225 45th SAR 18 tire is 3.5% larger in diameter than the 225 40th SAR 18. This is a bit over the 3% suggestion. While many vehicles can accommodate this small increase, it's crucial to check your vehicle specifications to avoid any rubbing or clearance issues. Some cars might require modifications, but in most cases this small change is safe. One of the benefits of the 225 45th SAR 18 is the increased ground clearance. We're looking at a 0.89 inch increase. While it might not seem like much, it can make a difference when navigating potholes, speed bumps, or slightly rougher terrain. In real-world driving, this can provide a bit more peace of mind. Now let's talk fuel economy. The 225 45th SAR 18 has fewer revolutions per mile. Theoretically, this could lead to slightly better gas mileage. However, the difference is marginal. Factors like tire weight and rolling resistance also play a role. So while you might see a very slight improvement, don't expect a dramatic change in your MPG. Aesthetically, the 225 45th SAR 18 will give your car a slightly more substantial look. The taller sidewall fills the wheel well a bit more, which some people prefer. It gives a slightly more robust look to the vehicle. This is where the 225 45th SAR 18 really shines. The 12.5% increase in sidewall height translates to a significantly smoother ride. You'll notice a difference in how the car absorbs bumps and road imperfections. In real-world driving, this is a very noticeable and positive change. Since the width remains the same at 225mm, there's no change in the tire's contact patch. Handling and stability will remain similar. The taller sidewall might introduce a slightly softer feel, but for everyday driving it's unlikely to be a significant issue. With a 3.5% increase in diameter, your speedometer will read slightly lower than your actual speed. For example, at 20 miles per hour on your speedometer, you'll actually be going about 20.71 miles per hour. This is important to keep in mind to avoid speeding tickets. You can use GPS to verify your speed. In real-world driving, switching to 225 45th SAR 18 noticeably boosts ride comfort, a key pro, especially on rough roads. Aesthetics improve with a slightly more robust look. However, the speedometer error is a con, requiring awareness. Gas mileage impact is minimal. Handling remains similar, suitable for daily driving, not significantly affecting on or off-road performance. For most, the comfort gain outweighs the slight speedometer discrepancy. But if precise speed is crucial, stick with 225 40th SAR 18.